Stay tuned for my full review of the Hickory Creek Mini Inline Vertical Takedown Crossbow next on Ultimate Survival Tips. So this is the mini compound takedown crossbow designed by Jerry Goff, the founder of Hickory Creek Archery and the inventor of the draw lock inline crossbow system. When I first saw a prototype of the mini a few months ago, I was intrigued by its vertical orientation, power, small size, and especially its ability to be taken down with the turn of a single locking knob. So I knew I had to get one in here, to see if it was a viable, portable bug out a survival hunting weapon. My mini shipped in two parts, the limb assembly and the inline trigger and stock assembly. Putting the mini together is easy. All you have to do is slide the limb assembly onto the front stock bolt and hand tighten this knob. Now the mini comes with a capable True Glow 4x32 compact crossbow scope with multi reticle and is attached to a lightweight inline stock with two vertical grips trigger assembly, weight reducing skeletonized butt plate, and the limb assembly with a foot stirrup. Now the limbs on my Mini are set to 150 pounds by Hickory Creek, but they also offer the Mini down to a 75 pound version, which is particularly handy for those who want to cock the bow with one hand. My Mini also shipped with three 24 inch Victory carbon arrows with field points and this cool quiver that easily attaches to the back of the stock. My mini crossbow is set up for right-handed shooting, but it can be set up for folks that are left-handed upon request. The mini is about 20 inches or 51 centimeters tall at the limbs, 30 inches or 72 centimeters long from stirrup to butt, and about 6 inches or 15 centimeters at its widest point. Here you can see the difference in size between the mini and the more traditional Turbo XLT crossbow from 10 point. The Mini weighs in at just over 6 pounds or 2.7 kilograms compared to the Turbo XLT at over 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms. But the real beauty of the Mini Vertical Crossbow as a viable long-term survival weapon is its power, reusable ammo, and especially its ability to pack down small and even be carried on or in a bug out bag, inch pack, or larger emergency bag. Now at the time of this review, Hickory Creek doesn't offer a compact case for the Mini. So I fired up my gear finding superpowers and in a few days located this nice padded AR case that fits the Mini like it was made for it. As always, I'll put links to this case and the other stuff I show you in the video description. Now to take the Mini down and carry it in this case, first loosen the limb assembly knob and place the entire inline stock assembly in the main section of the case. Add arrows in your three arrow quiver, then use the hook and loop straps to secure everything in place. Now totally remove the limb assembly knob. Next, use a 1 8 inch hex wrench to loosen the two bolts that hold the stirrup in place and remove the stirrup. Place the knob, stirrup, and hex key in a pouch like this one that I got for a few bucks online. Now place the pouch with the knob, stirrup, and hex key in the main section of the case. Put the limb assembly in the smaller top compartment of this case and zip things up. Now you have a nicely portable compound bow package in a case that you can take down or put together in about a minute. Now although the Mini in this case is best suited for strapping on a larger pack, traveling in a vehicle, or by using the multiple carry options of its case, it does fit in my Eberly stock J79 Sky Crane 2 my Marine Corps rucksack, and my Condor Colossus backpack duffel. So here's the footprint of the Mini in the case versus the 10 point turbo XLT crossbow case, which is huge, and my primal gear survival longbow, which is pretty small. Now with the power of many full sized crossbows, there are significant survival advantages of the Mini over any longbow, including the primal gear survival bow. You see, most longbows can only be shot with enough power to take small and medium sized game at a distance of around 10 or 20 meters, require a significant amount of practice and skill to accurately shoot. 
but because of the familiar trigger, scope, and the fact that the Mini holds the string cocked until you're ready to shoot, the Mini requires a much lower skill level to produce results than a longbow. It is accurate well beyond 50 meters and launches arrows with about five times the kinetic energy of a longbow. Now I clocked the Mini at an impressive 345 feet per second with 328 grain victory arrows that I put together and around 328 feet per second with the 372 grain carbon arrows provided with the Mini for around 90 foot pounds or 122 joules of kinetic energy. This means the Mini is powerful enough to take just about any big game animal in North America with a well placed shot. So let's step through how to load and shoot the Mini see how it does on the range. To load the Mini, slide the cheek plate to the rear. Now make sure the gold string latch is in the up position ready to receive the string. If it's in the down position, release it by pulling the trigger, pushing down lightly on the anti-dry fire lever like this. Now slide the safety behind the trigger. This is the safe position. Place the stirrup end of the bow on the ground with the limb and string side facing away from you. Position one foot in the stirrup. Now grab the string tightly and position your thumbs close to the D loop. Pull the string up and back and hook the loop on the gold string latch. Now make sure you remove your foot from the stirrup. Place the tip end of the arrow in the arrow rest. Now spin your arrow so that the index, or in this case the white feather, is at a 90 degree angle to the string. Depress the anti dry fire lever with the back of the arrow shaft and snap the arrow knock onto the string, making sure the knock is positioned properly so that the index feather is still at a 90 degree angle to the bowstring. Slide the cheek plate over the string release assembly and you're ready to shoot. Now because of the Mini's unique vertical orientation, there is no stock to grab a hold of, but instead there's two pre-positioned vertical grips that are easy to adapt to. To fire the bow, find your target in the scope, slide the safety to the fire position and pull the trigger. In combination with the multi reticle scope, the Mini finds its target at longer distances even with a significant crosswind, like I've got today. And because of the vertical grips, balance, and light weight, the Mini can be held and accurately shot with one hand, which is pretty cool, especially for those who are disabled or injured. Another great thing about the balance and vertical orientation of the Mini is that it tends to be more maneuverable and stealth in the woods than a standard crossbow or longbow because of its narrow footprint. All in all, I found the Mini to be fun, accurate, and easy to shoot. Okay, now let's take a look at a few additional items that you should consider before you purchase the Mini. First, if you get the 150 pound version of the Mini like I have, it takes some significant strength to pull the string back and cock the bow. After a few rounds, the string will dig into your hands, so I recommend getting a good pair of tactical or shooting gloves like the ones I'm wearing. Now Hickory Creek does offer the Mini in lower weight versions, right down to 75 pounds, so the bow can be strung with much less effort, even with one hand. But if you're concerned about your strength and want to go with a heavier bow, Hickory Creek can add a hand crank to any Mini as an upgrade. Next. Although the three arrow quiver that comes with the Mini looks cool and is really nice for carrying extra arrows on the hunt, it's not possible to put your foot in the stirrup of the Mini to reload it with the quiver attached. So you have to remove the quiver from the Mini each time you load, then reattach it when you're done. Fortunately, the quick release makes this relatively painless. Next, because the Mini doesn't have a traditional stock and the bottom limb is lower than the front grip, shooting from the prone position is about impossible. So if you want additional stability, the Mini shoots great from the seated position. And one more thing, the Mini's bottom limb position also makes sighting the Mini on a traditional bench rest more than a bit challenging. So here's a bonus tip. If you want to easily sight in your Mini crossbow or hunt from a rest, try using a camera tripod. At the bottom of each grip, you'll find a threaded hole that takes a standard tripod mount screw. Mount your tripod plate tightly to the rear grip Attach your Mini to your tripod, aim at your target and shoot. Now let's take a look at the cost and availability of the Mini. the time of this review, each Mini is manufactured and assembled by Hickory Creek in their small shop in Mississippi. Production quality and demand is high, but their volume is relatively low. So if you want a Mini order well in advance of your need, realize that you might have to wait a bit. 
You also need to know that the mini package runs around $750 US at the time of this review. For some, this is going to seem a bit pricey. For others used to investing $500 to $1,000 plus on a quality hunting weapon, the ready to hunt mini package with all of its unique advantages will seem more than fairly priced. So who's the Hickory Creek Mini Vertical Inline Takedown Crossbow for? The Mini is an innovative consideration for those who want an accurate, easy to use, powerful, and lightweight crossbow for hunting, bugging out, and long-term survival situations, or having an effective, portable, and nearly silent weapon with reusable ammo is vital. Now for a more traditional hunting crossbow, check out the Turbo XLT from Tenpoint. If you're looking for an affordable stealth compound bow, check out the Diamond Archery Infinite Edge Bow Package. And for a compact folding survival bow, check out my review of the Primal Gear Longbow. We've just taken a look at the Hickory Creek Vertical Inline Compound Takedown Crossbow. For your convenience, I've put a link to all the gear that we've mentioned in the video description below. Okay, this is David. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check back every Thursday for a new survival video so you can be prepared because you never know.